Today I found a pretty upsetting problem with my second display from Acer and what I mean by that is that I noticed that the colors on the second display uh, starts to be very pale and unsaturated compared to my laptop screen and before it was working fine and I just noticed it recently when I try to enable the HDR mode on this display and this model is Acer VG272U it was working really good before I wasn't even using the HDR mode before but then I just tried to use it when while watching a movie and it works really great because the colors get really saturated compared to the regular mode as you can see there are a few already preset modes and right now I'm using the HDR mode but check what happens when I'm turning into the regular user mode the colors become like absolutely unusable like look at how pale it is and how unsaturated the colors and this is the user setting I thought well maybe there is something that's uh, just wrong with the settings maybe there is some low contrast or something like that so I decided to go ahead and try out a different mode that's already been preset from the factory for example I tried the this G Sport and it was the same this one this one it's getting even worse and worse and like it seems like there is some kind of a layer or something over the screen that doesn't want to make as you can see this is supposed to be a blue color but that's not blue and check and check how it looks in reality or on the correct screen versus these colors as you can see they're absolutely pale and unsaturated no contrast very bad colors let me go ahead and turn on turn it on again and by the way if you're thinking that there is a problem with the brightness as you can see right now the brightness is at a hundred percent and that doesn't even look close to 100% brightness let me pull up this uh, color wheel just so we can compare the colors this will be easier to see on this color wheel as you can see these are all the colors so there is yellow, green, blue, violet, orange, red all these colors I'm gonna bring exactly the same color wheel on the second screen all right, so now so we can compare better. As you can see, this is the color wheel with all the different colors and check how it looks on this display. There's definitely something wrong. So I'm trying to find a solution for it. I don't know right now if it's gonna work or not, but I'm just trying to figure out the solution for it because I'm not very happy about this. This display is only like maybe a little bit over a year old and if it's showing these colors that's not very good I might have to turn it for the repair but as you can see the colors are really bad so let's see if we can figure it out so I'm just gonna go through through different modes and see if I can actually get any better color from it so right now so we are in the sports mode sports mode action mode, the standard mode, eco mode, graphics nothing really changes at all like almost all the colors are the same except for maybe graphics is just a tiny little bit brighter than other modes but then only when we go to the HDR mode everything looks saturated everything looks good but before that not only HDR mode was good all other modes were good and the HDR mode was just amazing but now I cannot use any other modes at all so let's go and look through the settings maybe we can figure out something through the settings 
check out the picture brightness level is at 50 contrast is at 50 at the black boost i don't know if it's going to do anything at all yeah the black it seems like nothing is working like it's absolutely anything you do anything you change it doesn't affect the picture quality i'm thinking that's going to be the problem with the computer not with this uh, monitor but to check it out i'm gonna have to use another computer with this monitor and then hopefully we can see if the picture is going to change then we can distinguish if that's a problem with this monitor or if it's a problem with the settings on the laptop because all other th settings i'm not even going to change them because they don't affect anything and these are just the audio settings the color settings and what happened is I haven't changed anything at all it was working fine so that's really why I'm not even gonna bother changing the settings because everything was working fine before so I'm just gonna keep it in this user mode when it was working fine and I'm gonna connect another computer just to see if it's gonna fix the problem so I just pull out the HDMI cable and then I got another laptop here from Acer as well same as the monitor hopefully it will work fine so let's try it on so let's go ahead and connect the second monitor So it has detected the monitor. Let's see what's going to show us. So yeah, as you can see, everything is good. This monitor works no problem. If we look on this one, this one's a little bit dimmer because it's running off the battery, but that's no problem because once we connect it to the power, it will be brighter, but I was worried about this monitor and let's check out what mode we got here. See if we have still got the user mode. Oops, wrong button. And yeah, check this out. We still got the user mode and it's 100% brightness, HDMI, everything. I just wanna see how it looks with the color wheel. I'm just gonna download the color wheel right now to the USB stick. So check this out. Here we go, so this is the monitor and this is the monitor that we use in the regular settings and check the difference if we turn it into the HDR mode. What's the difference gonna be in the HDR mode? So if I go to the HDR, it doesn't even change much because, well, yeah, you can see the bright, the colors get uh, more saturated, much brighter. But on the camera, you don't see that much, but I can definitely see it. And especially when you watch in a movie, it shows quite a bit of difference. And then just let's go and check the other modes as well. There is a graphic mode, eco mode. It's more pale and more unsaturated. The standard mode, the gaming, gaming 2, gaming 3, and the user mode. So we have confirmed the issue. The issue is not with the monitor. And thanks God, it's not the monitor problem because I didn't want to take it for the repair. So it's actually the problem with the settings on the laptop. So we're going to have to fix it. And I think I know what the problem is. I'm just going to have to probably reinstall the drivers and hopefully that will fix the problem. But let's try it out and see if it's going to work. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do, I'm just going to go to the display settings. Then go to the second monitor here. See what I can change in the settings here. First of all, I want it to be on this side, that's right. And I think there is a problem with the HDR. Get brighter and more vibrant colors in the HDR settings. Okay, so that's a problem. That's a problem. You see this HDR? I haven't even checked this out yet, but I'm pretty sure that this is the problem. 
when I have the HDR mode enabled on this Windows machine, but on the display it's not enabled, it shows really weird colors. So let's go ahead and try to disable it. And voila! Yep! That's it guys! Home. Look at that, huh? So look at that. Look at that. I knew there was something simple to fix it, but now I know for sure. Check this out, guys. And I'm gonna turn on the settings here. And as you can see, it says user mode, 100% brightness, everything the same. So I haven't changed anything on the display. And everywhere else, it looks amazing. Check this out. And let me run this color wheel again. And we're gonna compare it side by side. And actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this display to duplicate, not even to extend. And it's even gonna be duplicating. Check this out guys. Now that's how it looks and that's how it's supposed to look when you have having your display on. And this is how it looks on my laptop monitor. There's almost no difference at all because Though the laptop monitor is a little bit better, it's 165 hertz and it's 10 bit color. But this one is an 8 bit color with some other, I think it's an FRS or something like that, but it gives you better colors. And it is a pretty good monitor, like it's, it is also 165 hertz, I believe. But via the HDMI that I'm using, I'm not actually able to use the 165 hertz, I'm only able to use up to 144 hertz I believe let me just double check it so if we go to the display settings and uh, yeah the refresh rate of this monitor is actually 59 hertz so let's go ahead and change it because yeah as you can see the maximum I can use via the HDMI is 143 hertz which I'm gonna change right now and yes keep the changes it says are you okay to keep the changes yep there we go, so I got 143 hertz for this uh, external monitor. And as you can see, it's an 8-bit RGB standard dynamic range. But it has some kind of uh, features that enable it to have like a some sort of 10-bit. Let's go ahead and check out the internal monitor. And the internal monitor is 165 hertz. It also says 8-bit RGB, but I think it's because I'm duplicating it if I'm actually going to extend it. I'm not going to duplicate it, I'm just going to extend. Now if I go back and I go to the advanced display settings, 165 Hertz. Yeah, for some reason it says also 8-bit, so maybe this internal display is 8-bit as well with some sort of FRS or something like that. But the second display, which is VGA, yeah, it's again it's changed to the 59 hertz. Let's change it to 143. But yeah, as you can see, it's only able to have 143 hertz, which is way more than enough for me. I don't think I really need anything higher than that. But it's a 2K monitor. So yeah, there you have it, guys. This is it. This is how you use it. And uh, let me even change this over here. This is another feature that I would like to show you. How to quickly swap the monitors from left to right then you just gotta click apply there we go it's done so yeah this is it guys the only thing that was a problem with this monitor is actually this button over here use HDR so whenever you enable HDR on your monitor it automatically switches to the HDR on your computer because Windows understands that you have an HDR monitor so it automatically detects that you need this HDR enabled. But then when you switch back to the normal mode or to the eco mode or to the standard mode, the window still thinks you're using the HDR monitor. And because of that, it sends different colors to the monitor. And while the monitor is not in HDR mode, well, it just doesn't know what to do. And it just shows really weird colors. So yeah, there you have it, guys. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, of course, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting, helpful videos. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.